following is a presentation on exam duration and grade correlation in drive education using data from AAA iPass Driving School. I am Kamo Se. With more and more classes switching to online learning, many are asking two questions. Can online tests replace proctor classroom examinations? And by allowing students to have more time writing the exam, would they get higher marks? This presentation will answer these questions supported by metrics. We collected some data in 2021 from 54 students who attended hybrid drive education classes in seven different cohorts. The learners attended virtual instructor-led training sessions known as VILT via Zoom, and they have their assignments and exams done online and then graded by a learning management system with very accurate numbers from the LMS, supporting relationship between the time spent on exams and the grades achieved. From the grades coming back from the midterm, we produced a histogram. It started as a vertical bar for each grade earned in a range. Our round off numbers range from 70 to 100%. The top of each bar represents the counts of students achieving the grade. If we link the tops of the bars together, with a line, we get a histogram with the distribution. In most cases, it would be like a bell curve with both ends at the lower bottom and the peak somewhere in the middle where most people's grades are. If we have a bell curve, we call it normal distribution, meaning that the assessment works for the course with a few doing very good or bad, but most with passing grades in the middle. Let's overlay the bars with three solid lines they represent the time students need to finish an exam in that group. For example, only one student earned the lowest 70% and the student took 12 minutes to do it. Three lines started here at the same point and they represent the longest, average and shortest time in a group. 15 students got 85% and they are the mode of the class. In this group, it took the students anywhere from 3 minutes to 26 minutes to achieve the grade and on average, it took 11 minutes to finish the exam in this grade. The dotted line derived from the direction of the average indicates a trend of the average, telling us whether it is going up or down. We put four of these charts together, showing the timing and the grades for each of the four exam papers. Each gave us slightly different trends. They show that as students progressed with each exam, they got better timing results, indicating that they were getting used to the LMS technology. The big picture tells a lot more. By combining the results of the four exams into one big chart, the correlation becomes clearer. Most in the class scored in the 85% range. The course mode, which shows the most common mark, was 83%, while the average was 84 In other words, the 83% grade had most students. The grades plot a bell curve shown by the green dot. Let's look at each category's time spent on exams. The top orange line plots the maximum time spent on the exam. The red dashes plots a polynomial line derived from the average time. And the yellow plot at the bottom shows the minimal time spent on the exam. The four lines took almost the same shape, indicating a correlation that the more time one spends on the exam, the higher the grade. There are also several significant findings. Exam scores peak with more extended time spent on an exam for most students. The score histogram indicates a normal distribution of the cohort scores with a standard deviation of 6%, aligning well with Six Sigma rules to measure an education institution's performance. Students who are well versed with the content take the shortest time to score highest, even though we allow students multiple attempts to write the exams, mostly all four papers in single shots. However, the provision is still helpful for students with language or computer barriers. We can conclude that sufficient time for assessments will produce more knowledgeable drivers, aligning well with our safety first philosophy. The exam histogram also shows the online assessment will produce equal, if not better graduates, compared to traditional brick and mortar driving schools. Thanks for watching. <laughs>